Charlie, in terms of the property sector, let's dig into this uh, housing slump, which uh, could be much worse than official data is showing. Uh, can you tell us why and why, why investors watching the property market are concerned? Yeah, um, so official data have, uh, what we found is, have uh, severely understated the magnitude of decline in the, in the market. So uh, if you remember, um, prices announced by uh, the, the Stats Bureau showed uh, the, the home prices in China have fallen 2.6%. Uh, That's new home prices you know, from its peak in, two, in, in the summer of 2021. And the price of existing homes has dropped uh, 6%. But based on what we uh, heard from a private data pro uh, provider and also uh, real estate agents on the ground, you know, the prices have fallen much more sharply. In Shanghai, in some downtown areas, you know, uh, fallen about 15% uh, in Hangzhou, uh, the, the home to the headquarters of uh, Alibaba. Uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the problem is even bigger. It's down more than you know, nearly 30%. Uh, yeah. And the, the, the reason why uh, uh, the, the dis discrepancy is you know, the methodology China is adopting. So unlike some Western uh, you know, many developed countries which uses um, so-called uh, transaction-based data, China uses uh, survey-based and also it okay. you know, uh, uses samples as well. It takes samples from selective projects instead of you know, all houses that have changed hands. So that caused a discrepancy. But for the regulators, you know, the advantage of, of doing that is you know, it can smooth uh, volatility and you know uh, avoid large swings in uh, prices, uh, but you know for the downside is you know policymakers who completely rely on uh, such data you know uh, probably can't won't be able to make informed decisions uh, when they when it comes to you know uh, property measures mm -hmm. and also for investors if you are you know waiting for the for the prices to drop further uh, before stepping into the market to buy um, you know they probably will have to wait longer yeah. yeah it takes it takes time and 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 they have to you know wait for a clear right. clearer signal from the market for so for the regular it kind of defeated the pur purposes <laughs> oh boy well you know and you kind of wonder so you're you're giving us some very important information this could partly be the way the data is collected. But if you just take it at face value, if, if prices are falling so sharply, to what extent is it because people are saying, let me get out of this house before the, you know, before the price falls any further? Uh, what, is, what, is the, what is the momentum right now? Has the market started to bottom out? And what does it look like now? What's the outlook? Good question. There's no, uh, there's based on what we heard from analysts and people around here, uh, there is no end in sight of the slum at the moment. It's mainly because of excessive, you know, in, inadequate demand and oversupply. So China uh, developers over the years have built, you know, way too many houses. If you travel around China, you see half-completed buildings everywhere, high rises along the railways even. Uh, you know, based on a report from Goldman Sachs recently, there is like 27 trillion yuan worth of inventory, and it would take about five years to clear. Um, and in terms of demand, you know, the the the, the picture doesn't look great either. I mean, to get people to buy houses, you need three things to happen, right? First, you need to have some cash in your bank account. And second, you, you need to have uh, some confidence uh, in, about your future income. And also, you need to have the expect expectation that prices may increase, home value uh, may increase uh, over the long term. But you, know, um, you, don't, you don't have these kind of things, either any of those things at the moment. And over the long term, you know, the demo demographic uh, uh, issue is also, you know, a, a concern. Uh, China's population is shrinking. People are not getting married. They're not having children. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, demand, uh, based on according to some by some estimates, you know, uh, will probably drop to like nine million units uh, from 17 or 18 wow. uh, registered in China in 2017.